My friends, welcome back to Satisfactory. Uh, last time we did the concreting where we made our spaghetti junction. Uh, and now this time we are going to start automating the copper again because we need copper. Uh, it's not going to be a super long episode this one because copper is fairly basic, um, but I will just finish making the floor that I definitely wasn't putting off in all the last episodes. Mm -mm, you can't prove it. Um, the easiest way is using the zoop thingy, uh, if you have to do multiple things that all basically require the same thing, but um, yeah, if you want to change it, you just press R, which I think is on the screen when you have the options up anyway um, to be able to do it. So do that to your heart's content. I would definitely recommend zooping as much as you can, um, especially when you're base building. But for now, I am just going to set up some power for the copper, so it's just that little bit easier to actually do things. And then we can plonk that one there, delete this pole, Ah, and now we have a nice empty space for the stuff. Um, so I have the copper coming down from the top there um, using the regular old uh, miner. Uh, so we will just need to get our, oh, it's in production, uh, the smelter. So uh, as with the copper, to get it to be an ingot, uh, you have to use a smelter. Uh, so that looks about lined up. Yeah, perfect. Um, so the copper, you just basically set it as copper instead of iron. And then otherwise it works the same way. We give it some power. And then, oh, oh, here we go. Um, because we're going to inevitably end up having more than one, I'm going to try and set this thing up to be moderately pretty for future splitting. Okay, uh, so that's going to do its usual thing of smelting into the um, into the ingots. Uh, I usually, between the smelter and the constructor, I usually leave a little bit of a gap so I can add in any um, splitters and mergers as needed. Uh, in this case, just a little bit of a gap because iron isn't Oh, no, I mean, copper uh, isn't that complicated. Uh, so let me just put that in. Uh, we're going to start with wire. Uh, the simple fact is that wire is just the, a thing that you use a lot of. Uh, and oddly enough, to be able to get the cable, you need to use wire. Uh, so for now, I'm just going to start a stack over here in this corner. Uh, again, in the future, it'll probably go upstairs, but we're not in the future. Um, so yeah, that's nice and easy. Um, so these ones here, get the 30 and pump out 30, and that comes in here, and this needs 15, so we don't actually even need a second line to do our, eh, there we go, uh, to do another one of the constructors. Uh, so I'll just quickly place that one there. Uh, it's only yellow because it's indicating that it's um, doing some soft clipping between this power pole. Um, but honestly, I don't really care about that um, because it's fine. Uh, one, two. Now this isn't going to be a perfect right corner because I just eyeballed where this one went. If you really want it to be a perfect right corner, you have to place this onto the foundation rather than placing it onto an existing conveyor belt. But, like I said, I don't really care. Um, it's mild looks, it doesn't really save that much space in the end, uh, so I don't really care. Um, from here, we just need to go from a constructor to another constructor. That should give me plenty of room. Um, just so that way we can go into our cable. Um, because as with the screws, you can't just go from the ingots to the cable, you have to go ingot wire cable. Uh, so this one here, click on the cable, it needs, for peak efficiency, 60 wire to be coming in to produce the 30 wire. This one is pumping out 30 wire. 
So if we needed excessive amounts, I would essentially just set up another one of these guys um, over here somewhere, so that way it can just have more wire going into it. Um, but for now, don't really need that. Uh, so let me just hook up some power to it. There we go. And then we'll plonk that one there, and then we'll grab one of the lifter raiders. Plonk you there. Is that going to be too close? Are you going to say he invalid? Oh, no. Oh, that's actually quite pretty. I like that. Uh, so, yeah. That is, for now, the bare bones basics of copper. Uh, in the future, we will get the copper sheeting um, to come in as well. But that is essentially what we need to begin. Um, one thing that I haven't explained in the previous videos, grab that, I saw that earlier and wanted it, um, the whole reason that we're doing all of this is to achieve the arbitrary goals that they have set for us, which can be found in the hub. And uh, so for this one, I've done the base building, uh, which gave me all the foundation stuff. And I've done logistics so I could get the conveyor splitter and merger. Um, those were all on episode one, uh, the one where I wasn't really explaining anything as we went. Um, but basically, all of these are the milestones that we actually need to reach uh, to unlock everything here. Uh, and then, obviously, there's more in tier two, and all of these ones will be unlocked through the space elevator. So after we've completed tier two, we then need to do the objective up in the top right, which is to build the space elevator. It has very specific requirements that it needs to then unlock these further bits, so then you can continue unlocking everything. Uh, but for now, because the copper was a very short milestone, I'll just give you a quick demo of what I am talking about with sending all of this stuff up to our evil overlords. Uh, so I'll just quickly grab some more screws which are on the top of this bit. Stack of 500, you'll do. And just jump my way across and plonk them in. Once you've put them all here, hit the little button. Oh, and then this guy at the back goes for a little quick fly. And then as I said to Chris in one of our other videos, it doesn't actually go to space. So we'll watch it. It just goes up into the sky to a certain point and then just sort of pauses. Eh. And then yeah, it just stops there, under the cloud later. So unless the clouds are in space, that thing is lying. It's not going anywhere. But when you zoom out, obviously, you can't really see it with just your naked eye. So you have to go into your photo mode and zoom all the way in to see the horrible, horrible lies that it's telling you. Um, but yeah, that's essentially how we progress in the game. Uh, so from here, we'll just be going through unlocking all of the milestones as best we can. Uh, until we have to get the space elevator. Um, so that will be an excitement for next time. But for the right now, that is all the copper. So thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys next time. And bye!